Hello, everybody. This is Appa Brian with Appa Baseball Classics, and I thought I'd make a short, little quick unboxing video. Made an order from the National Bobblehead Museum, and uh, they have a special Negro Leagues baseball set that they're making. It has 180 cards, and uh, they have included a bobblehead, and I ordered that about a week ago, uh, not much longer. And it's coming to mail today. Let's open it and see what we get. This comes from Midwest Distribution in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm not sure where the Bobblehead Museum is at. I'll look it up and put it in the description. And first of all, everything's certainly well packed. I think this is the Bobblehead and I think this is the cards. Okay, they include a mystery bobblehead, and I got Dick Cannonball, Richard Redding, Cannonball Redding. All right, Greg Kindler, oil painting, and that is what the bobblehead looks like. And here is a set of baseball cards, Negro Leagues. I believe there are 100, 180 cards in the set. Okay, Dick Cannonball Redding, Centennial Hand Team Bobbleheads. He's on a white stand with his name. And I think the building in the background is the 20th, and, um, 20th Street YMCA in Kansas City where the Negro Leagues was founded. That, I think that's what that depicts. I'm guessing that's a St. Louis uniform. I'll have to look that up a little better. See what that is. Love the box. I don't know if I want to open it. This I do want to open. Negro Leagues Legends baseball cards. That's the 20th Street um, YMCA. That's where the Negro Leagues were organized in 1920. Satchel Page. Limited edition. 11.52 of 5,000 sets. Rube Foster on the other side. Chicago American Giants. This baseball card set honors the players of the Negro League in celebration of the centennial of the founding of the Negro National League on February 13, 1920 at Kansas City's Patel YMCA. This is the 100th anniversary of the Negro Leagues organization and the Negro League Museum just reopened this past like a week ago Tuesday hope this will be in focus but let's start with Ray Brown of the Homestead Graves bio on the background That's I like that no stats, but you can get Negro League stats at cms.com or baseballreference.com. Clarence Matthews. Harvard Crimson. Cool Papa Bell in the uh, Trujillo uniform. Alex Red. Radcliffe. Don't see a, uh, that's with the Leonis de Havana team. Oh, 
Frank Leland, Leland who organized the Leland Giants. 1905 to 1909. There's another cool Papa Bell with his St. Louis Stars uniforms. Love the colors. I don't like black and white cards. These colors and paintings are just wonderful. Henry Mich uh, McHenry, not familiar, but he is a Philadelphia star. Elston Howard with the Kansas City Monarchs. First time I've seen that card. Prior to his Yankee days. Spent three years with the Monarchs before spring signing with the Yankees in 1962. Six time All Star. And 58 World Series MVP decided to move his team to the black, or from the black section of Teaneck, New Jersey to a larger home. There is some African American history on the back of this car. I love that. I'm talking about the Supreme Court decision declaring zoning laws and ordinances that ensure whites only neighborhoods, so that's some of the history. Um, going back to the redlining, which is unfortunate in this country. Private deed restrictions or covenants accomplishing the same result are still legal and often enforced until the passage of the 68 Civil Rights Act. So some African American history on the background. Nap Goley with the 46 Seattle Steelheads. I've not heard of that team. This is going to be educational. Here he is Jackie Robinson in his Kansas City Monarchs uniform. Had a variety of uniforms. This would be probably 1946. Satchel Page in a different monarch uniform. Frank Warfield of the De La Santa Clara. So we're going to learn about some new new teams. I have another car with the SC. I think um, Oscar Charleston might have been on that team. Boo Jim Johnson, a uh, power hitter in the Negro Leagues. He's in a Cuban, Cuban ex-Giants uniform. Another Cuban ex-Giants, Ray Wilson. Fats Jenkins with the 25 Harrisburg Giants. Many Negro League teams were called Giants, um, and that was to give the white newspaper readers an idea, of, and black newspaper readers, of what kind of a team it was. This is Monty Irvin with the Newark Eagles. Played in the middle infield with the, with the, New, with the Newark Eagles. Luis Tiant, Petroles de Cien Fuegos. Luis Tiant's father. I do not have a baseball card of Louis Tien's back. Josh Gibson in the V. Santursi uniform. 1931, 30-31 when the Depression hit, the organized Negro Leagues were a victim of the Depression for a number of years, and many of the Negro League stars went, to, went south to play their baseball. All right, Newt Allen, 1934 Kansas City Monarchs. Learned the other day he went to Lincoln High School in Kansas City, which also produced another great second baseman, Frank White of the Royals. Haley Harding, the 31 Philadelphia Backrack Giants. Alex Pompez. 
New York Giants. New York Cubans, excuse me. Early card of Rube Foster, 1905. Royal Poinciana Hotel. Satchel Page, Negro League Legends, with Josh Gibson. 1942 Negro League World Series. Here's Ted Double Duty Radcliffe in his Bismarck, North Dakota uniform. That was a integrated team, semi-pro team. Satch Page also played on that team. Uh, had a salary dispute with Pittsburgh Crawfords. I think they were only paying him maybe $250 or $300 a month. They offered $500, so off to North Dakota went Satchel. Jose Munoz, Stars of Cuba. Here's Pete Hill of the Leland, Leland Giants. Have him on some of the Negro League teams I've got. Here's Orlando Cepeda's father, um, Perucho Cepeda, legend in Cuba, Ponce Leones, earned the nickname the Babe Cobb for a conflation of Babe Ruth and Ty Cobb. Most of his, excuse me, I said not Cuba, he, most of his career was in Puerto Rico. Chino Moran. Stars of Havana, Luis Santa, Brooklyn Royal Giants, 1919. He's on one of my Negro League teams. Mule Settles with the Newark Eagles, 1939. He played on a number of championship teams, and along with Josh Gibson, one of the great power hitters in the Negro Leagues. Luis Padron. Oh, keepsy Colts. Here is Satchel, okay, here's Satchel Page with the Pittsburgh Crawfords uniform. Lenny Pearson of the Newark Eagles. I believe he was on the 46 Eagles. I've got him in my appetite. William Dinga. Chicago Lincoln Giants. Jelly Roll Gardner. All right, we probably don't want to take forever on this opening, but let's get through these cards quicker. We may stop with some of these. Tubby Scales, uh, I think he's on one of my teams. Jose Mendez. Familiar name, he was a pitcher. Frank Duncan was on the 24 Monarchs team. His father, Frank Duncan Jr., that's also on the 42 Monarchs team. Here's Satchel Page, Birmingham Black Barons uniform, 1928. Another cool Papa Bell. Another cool Papa Bell. Gus Greenlee, he was the owner of the Pittsburgh Crawfords. Marty Wilson is on one of my teams, Birmingham Black Barons. Cannibal Jackson, not familiar. Okay, Martin DeHigo, one of the greatest players of all time, white or black. Uh, he played all the positions at some time or other, including pitcher. Bill Foster, half-brother of Rube Foster. Clint Thomas. The Hilldale Daisies are still in the tournament. Chet Brewer, I think the 45 Buckeyes are still in there. Pika Jackson, Billy Williams, Walter Beal, Roy Campanello with one of his Negro League teams. Sultanas de Monterey in Mexico. Turkey Stearns with the Detroit Stars here, 
but he's on one or two of my Negro League teams. Here again is Jackie Robinson. This is a 1945 Jackie Robinson. Hank Thompson with the Monarchs. He's post Robinson, and Hank Thompson uh, made it to the 51 New York Giants and won nationally or won the World Championship. Again, Turkey Stearns with the Monarchs. Skater, Doby Moore, interesting team. 25th Infantry Records, 1916. Slim Jones, Philadelphia Stars. C.I. Taylor with the Indianapolis ABCs. He's on one of the Negro League teams I have. Vic Harris, definitely on one of the Negro League teams, the Homestead Grays. Pop Lloyd, the all-time great Negro League shortstops. Brooklyn Royal Giants, 1918. Here's a Satchel Page Monarchs card, 1945. Judy Johnson with the Hilldale Daisies. It's a team that was near Philadelphia, or probably in the city of Hilton. Hilton Smith, Kansas City Monarchs. Bill Wright, I've got him on some of my teams. I don't have the Washington Eli Giants, but he was on one of the other ones. Oliver Ghost Marcel. Here is Hank Aaron of the um, Indianapolis Clowns. 1952. Roy Campanello, the Baltimore Eli Giants. He was trained by Biz Mackey in the New Orleans. Bullet Rogan, one of my favorite all-time players. The Monarchs. Quincy Troop. I have not had a Quincy Troop card. I'm glad I've got one now. 1945 Buckeyes, Cleveland. I think they're still in the tournament. Newt Joseph, it's a familiar name, Kansas City Monarchs, 24 Monarchs. Connie Morgan, Indianapolis Clowns. This is the same as the bobblehead, Dick Redding. Pitched both ends of some double hitters, they said. 1915 New York Lincoln Giants. Willie the Devil Wells in a Columbus uniform. There's another one with the St. Louis Stars. Oscar Charleston. Here's Larry Doby of the Newark Eagles. They were in the tournament, but I think they lost. Leroy Matlack with the Crawfords, pitcher. Ben Taylor, Indianapolis ABCs, I've got him on a team. Rep Dixon, Hilldale Giants, I've got him on one of my teams. Sam Jethro. American All-Stars, um, he's in the, the tournament, I want to say, with the Cleveland Buckeyes. I'm not sure about that. Nip Winters, Candy Jim Taylor with Indianapolis ABCs. The Rube Foster of the Chicago American Giants. There are a lot of cards in this set. Another Josh Gibson. Rube Foster again. This set costs $50 and $30 for the bobblehead, so it's $80. You send, you send off, and they, you do not get your choice of bobbleheads. They send you a mystery. Well, here's Biz, Mac, Biz Mackey. 
Philadelphia Giants, but I think it's well worth the money. It's a beautiful set of cards. Mini Minoso, New York Cuban Giants. Huge Major League Baseball career. Bingo DeMoss, Chicago American Giants. Here's another cool Papa Bell, the Pittsburgh Crawfords. This really tells you what the uniforms look like. Hildell Daisies, Tank Carr, they're still in the tournament. Gibson, Crawfords. Satch Page with the Baltimore Black Sox. Crush Holloway. Another Satchel Page with the Cleveland Cubs. Um, they only played one year in Cleveland. Um, they, may, they came to play uh, in the winter in California in that uniform, and there's a picture of him in that uniform. Judd Wilson, Philadelphia Stars. Pete Hill. Wilbur Brown, my wife is coming home from the star. Uh, not the star, but the store. <laughs> Excuse me. Rube Foster, Leland Giants. This will be early 1909. Almost on here. Lou Dials. I met Lou Dials in California many, many years ago. Probably um, 35 years ago or so. Got an autograph from him, but I don't have it. Here's Ephra Manley, the only female in the Baseball Hall of Fame. She was the owner of the New Newark Eagles. Bruce Petway, he's on one of my uh, Negro League teams. It's Chino Smith, 28, Hildell Daisies. I don't, I don't know if he was on no wait a minute, That's Abana, not Hildell. Okay, another Jackie Robinson card of the Monarchs. This is the, or the 1945 American All-Stars. I think that was barnstorming team, and it was, uh, no, barnstorming team that he had was in 47. It was integrated, so that was a different barnstorming team. Heavy Johnson. Okay, we're coming down close to the end. Leon Davis, the top pitcher, home run Johnson. Buck O'Neill of the Monarchs. Had an unfortunate time in this series. I think it went over 10, unfortunately, for the Monarchs. Jimmy Lyons, 16 St. Louis Giants. Josh Gibson. be worth buying this set just to read the backs, to read the African-American history, Negro League Baseball history, female. She replaced um, Henry Aaron when Henry Aaron went to the Major Leagues from the Indianapolis Clowns. Dick Lundy is on one of my teams, not the Backrat Giants, but on a different one. Ray Dandridge, a great third baseman. Buck Leonard of the Homestead Grays. He was the Lou Gehrig of the Negro Leagues. Another card of Buck, uh, Buck O'Neill when he was older. J.L. Wilkinson was the owner of the Monarchs. He was a white man. Hurley McNair, Kansas City Monarchs. He was on that um, 1924 team I have. Cool Papa Bell with the Grays, Dizzy Dismukes with the ABCs, and another Buck O'Neill with a Mexican team, Yaqui de Obregon. Well, that's it. That's a peek at the entire set. That's 184 cards plus the bobblehead. 
Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good week, good day, or actually, this is going to go up on Sunday. So have a good Sunday. Thanks for watching. Good day and God bless.